When you're trying to get big brands to sign you up, there's a bigger problem. It's not necessarily just about how famous you are, the social media followers, or indeed your body of work. There's a bigger picture at stake, particularly now in this very difficult marketing climate. If you look at influencers, they're incredibly powerful. And I don't mean this rudely, if you don't want an influencer is, it's a person on social media who literally can put a post up and alert their thousands, sometimes millions of people to the product that they wish to see. So, many people might suspect, of course, that Meghan Markle would be the ideal person for this. A former cable TV actress who got a little bit of fame inside that programme called Suits and then marrying into the most famous family in the world. Now breaking away, one would suspect that people would be beating at her door to make sure they could sign her up, whether that be for high-end couture clothing or indeed run-of-the-mill brands, you know, makeup, hair colours, that sort of stuff. Seemingly though, once again, there's a bigger problem. But who is to blame? Nice to see you, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London and as ever. Thank you so much for your company. Yes, we'll have a quick wave. You're right. Do take care of yourselves, whatever you're doing today. Very quiet here in London town at the moment. I don't know if people are, you know, away, all like us, no money, <laughs> can't afford to do anything. You open your wallet, don't you, and think, is this what's left? End of the month. We get paid though, don't we? It's the start of the month, sort of. So it's not too bad. It's, well, yeah, well. Yeah, well, once you've paid your bills, I know, this is the problem, isn't it? By the way, I've got a, a bombshell to share with you soon about Jammy Dodgers. Not happy. Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Lots of speculation was there not about Meghan Markle. First off with things like Cartier and then she was apparently pushing a deal with Dior. And we told you about the fact that Dior were not really unresponsive to the fact they would have said yes. But more importantly, they wanted to make sure that they could lock in someone like Prince Harry. Hence the reason they decided, of course, to dress him for the Platinum Jubilee. But where does it now fare for Meghan Markle and her brand new team? Well, you have to remember, it's very difficult for them simply because they've got to try and find a very high-end company who wishes to take her on. Something very similar to Elizabeth Hurley and, of course, Estee Lauder, you know, something like that. The problem, it isn't so easy in this climate, as I say, to rack up those particular individual mega deals. And the bigger issue now that the team behind, of course, the former Duchess of Sussex is finding is simply this each time that they feel they've got near a deal and as ever we have to say allegedly something else engulfs the ex-royals Harry and Meghan so once you are a major brand and you've forked out a lot of money for that person that particular individual you do not want your brand to be overtaken by some personal issue ie for instance Prince Harry's visa route or recently his security detail and this is the bigger issue I've been told that is really plummeting the idea of Meghan Markle basically landing some kind of mega deal as an influencer or indeed a grand ambassador. Now we've seen her try hard literally <laughs> over in Vancouver with all the fashion plates that she's done, the gloves, the beige coat, uh, the ski outfit, all of that sort of stuff. But so far, according to a very well-placed source, it has yet to result in anything of any substantial level. Now, of course, you could say with this brand new podcast deal, perhaps you could drop brands into that. But when you look at the likes of, say, Kira Knightley, Kate Blanchett, people like that, they seemingly can pick up deals with Dior, Chanel, you name it, Julia Roberts, you know, everybody seemingly wants to sign up a well-known celebrity. And I've been told that the team behind Meghan Markle are thoroughly scratching their heads as to why this is proving so difficult for the Duchess. As you can imagine, this has not gone down well in Montecito. And Meghan herself wants to know exactly why is it proving so difficult. We're happy to share that with her. And perhaps the problem is closer to home than even she first thought. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.